welcome back student uh, the next concept uh, that uh, is not covered by the mendel or mendelism is the gene interaction you can see in this example there are red and uh, green fruits so red are basically completely uh, uh, dominant for two genes and Green are completely recessive for two genes. So in F1, uh, this uh, summer crash food, we expect heterozygosity and dominant, red is the dominant, so the phenotype is red. And when this F1 is intercrossed, then we get four different types of phenotypes. And their ratios are 9, 3, 3, 1. So 9 are red, 3 are brown, 3 are yellow, and 1 is green. And the genotype is given underneath them. You can see we started with the four dominant both recessive genes, then the heterozygous, and then the first one in the F1, in F2, you can see 9 or 16 are red. So both of the others are dominant. And the second is uh, the first gene is dominant, the second one is recessive, and the phenotype is brown. And the third one, the second one is the dominant, the first one is the recessive, and it's yellow. And the last one, both of them are recessive. The phenotype is gray. So there are four different types of phenotypes, and we get the ratio of 9, 3, 3, 1. And this different type of phenotype physically are due to the interaction of these three genes. Now you can see uh, if the both of the genes they are dominant the phenotype is red and uh, um, if one the first one then it's brown is the second one it's yellow and the, both of them are recessive and it's green. And we check the uh, ratios just multiply them as per 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 and uh, we get 1 over 4. So overall probability for both of the phen four, all of the four phenotypes is 1 over 4. And that is basically deviation from the classical models. So we expect 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. But rather it's not like that. It's 1 over 4 for each of these phenotypes. And that's because of the gene interaction. Similarly, uh, a black color is because of the dominant B and dominant E allele for this, both of the genes. And if first one is recessive and second E is the dominant, then it's brown. And if the second one is recessive, first one is the, then it's the yellow. And if both of them they are recessive, they are the yellow. So that means if both of the, uh, sorry, the second one gene is completely recessive, the phenotype is the yellow and it will pull up. And this is the case of the uh, chicken. So that was also another example of the uh, interaction of the two genes in the uh, animal populations. So this is another concept and that is uh, beyond metallism. Or it's not covered by the matter. The two different genes they interact with each other and determine the phenotype and alter the phenotypic ratio against the matter expectations. Thank you very much.